Welcome back to the Lenten Challenge 2019. I hope this uh, has been an opportunity for spiritual growth for all of you, and I certainly have appreciated this opportunity myself. Um, a few weeks ago, we had a wonderful guest speaker at Round Hill Community Church, Tony Jones, and uh, he's the author of a provocative book called Did God Kill Jesus? And he was really exploring with us the various ways in which the cross has been understood over many centuries since Jesus' death. So that led me to do a little bit of thinking, but it also led me to do a little bit of creating. So I created some crosses visually, um, mostly collage and uh, using a variety of colors and textures because uh, instead of taking time to write down the meaning of the cross, uh, I wanted to see what was it that that experience of listening to Tony and thinking about the cross, how did that translate for me into a visual experience? So in, in one of these images, you'll see that I've written the word uh, he arche, which is a Greek word on the cross, because that's the, me, the word uh, in Greek that means the beginning. Or, and so uh, it suggests to me that in the cross, uh, we really don't have an end, we do have a beginning, a transition from what seemed to be a dead end into the unimaginable possibilities of resurrected life. So that was one way I explored this. Then in a second piece, um, I actually drew a little inspiration from a Spanish artist named Antony Tapies, who often included crosses in his artwork. In many times, they were very subtle, uh, not anything that was tremendously obvious, because he wanted, uh, I think, for people to just think again, if the cross wasn't such a powerful image in the center of the painting, how could it be? Uh, understood as something as a more subtle presence as when Jesus says take up your cross and follow me each and every day and then I created several images of crosses that are much more colorful which might seem to be out of step with the meaning of the cross but I'm suggesting there that even though Jesus died on a cross and it was a brutal death um, he remained a vibrant robust person of faith right to the last breath that he took so I'm suggesting that the undercurrent of life was there all along and that that undercurrent wasn't destroyed and continued beyond his, his death. In the coming week, I invite you to think about a question, not so much what does the cross mean to you, but what does the cross suggest to you? What colors does it suggest? What shapes, what images? Where do you see examples or hints of the cross in your daily life, in the news that you hear and see in comments from friends and family? I invite you to to take that question along with you as you walk through the week and may that prompt some deeper thinking but also lead you into a deeper relationship with God and your friends and family in this life of faith that we all share. Blessings.